A beloved graduate of the Chattanooga School of Arts and Science in UTC was honored earlier this evening. According to police reports, Sonia Khan was murdered in Chicago last week by her ex-husband. Dallas Payton tells us how she's being remembered. Dallas. To honor Sonia Khan, a candlelight vigil was held and everyone wore red since it was her favorite color. The wave of red filled the outside of CSAS. Memories were shared, Khan's favorite songs were played, and tears were shed. Sonia was the loudest and brightest personality in the room. Uh, she, she was friends with everybody, whether they knew it or not. Um, she saw the brightest and best in everybody and saw the good in every situation. Grant Moore was one of Sonya Khan's best friends since the age of 14. Moore says not only was she one of his biggest supporters, but everybody's biggest supporter. Anytime he had a tough decision to make in life, he would always run it by Khan. Uh, to not have that kind of support going on with big life decisions anymore, not to share those moments with her, and just to have that radiant positive energy feedback into me is that's going to be the biggest. That's where I'm going to feel her absence the most. Moore says since her passing, it's clear to see what kind of impact she had on this community and across the country. Anyone who was just a close, an acquaintance, somebody who just talked to her once, maybe an hour, maybe one weekend a couple days ago or a couple years ago, feels the loss. Not only did she touch people's lives on a personal level, she did it through her camera lens as a photographer. I mean, she was great at telling people's stories. She helped people just find this confidence in themselves that they may not have with her wedding portraits, self-portraits. Um, sometimes she would even just uh, do portraits of people just for fun. Didn't really have to have a rhyme or reason to it. Kirsten Parker was a good friend of Khan. They met back in 2015 when joining UTC's Omega Phi Alpha sorority. After graduation, Parker says their bond became even stronger. I think what I'll miss the most is having just one of the most supportive and encouraging friends to call. I'm going to miss her, just the, the confidence she inspired in so many people. And I think I'm going to, honestly, I'm going to miss her work. I'm going get to I'm gonna miss getting to hear all that she's experienced, getting to share about the world to other people. A scholarship was also created to honor Khan. The Sonya Khan Memorial Scholarship will be awarded to a female graduate of CSAS that has a desire to pursue an education in fine arts through the UT system. In studio, Dallas Payton, Local 3 News.